here, what would you like me to review next year? I would love to do more, more tech stuff on the channel, more... Uh, you know. Hey everyone and welcome back on the channel. Today's is another video of the Advent Kandar. And in today's video, we will be looking at some very interesting data for 2021. All the shoes I reviewed, as you know, I'm gathering a ton of data for each of them. And so today I'm sharing sort of the averages, outlier numbers, and um, how much I spent on running shoes in 2021, which is also interesting, at least for my own, you know, um, accounting uh, purposes, but maybe also you're interested in that. So I'm gonna share that. And at the end of the video, I will also share the shoes that I would have liked to review in 2021 but did, that I didn't review and uh, maybe next year, you know, the new iterations, um, we'll see. Let me also know in the comments, um, you know, which shoes you would have liked me to review in 2021 and that can give me some inspiration for 2022. Don't hesitate also to comment on the numbers that I will share. I'm also uh, looking to hear from you on that. All right, um, first let's look at uh, the drops. And um, very interesting, the average drop for all the shoes that I tested this year is 7.1 millimeters and the median drop is 8 millimeters. You have the distribution chart on your screen right now. As you can see, the, the um, highest uh, number of shoes was with a, a drop of 8 millimeters which I think makes sense. That's, um, that's a number that we came across quite often this year. And it's a number that works for a wide range of runners. So I understand why companies may be using it. So it's reflected in the data, that's, that's quite nice. Then we're looking at weight. And here we have an average weight for all the shoes that I tested of 264 grams, 9.3 ounces. Um, which is interesting because it's lower than I expected. At the same time, we had many super shoes, lightweight shoes. So this takes the number, um, you know, a bit lower that, that average number and the median value is 257 grams, 9.1 ounces, I believe. Um, interesting, interesting numbers. The lightest shoe was the uh, Salomon S Lab Pulsar, 199 grams and the heaviest shoe was the Adidas 40 forward, 380, 390 grams. I don't remember the exact value, but um, very, very high. So the range is like a two, 200 grams range between the lightest and the, the heaviest shoe. That's in my size US 11 EU 45. Next, let's look at uh, durometer scores. And here we have an average score for midsoles of 33.1 and a median score of 32.5. Um, so this is interesting because again, the number is lower than I expected. So the average, um, you know, value of durometer scores for the midsoles shows rather, you know, that the, the, the bulk of midsoles are uh, quite soft, I think. Uh, the lowest value here was for the Puma Deviate Elite with a Nitro Elite Foam, uh, Nitrogen Infused Piba, which came at 20.5, I think, on the geometer scale. And the highest value in that, uh, that set of, of numbers was for the clouds on the Cloud Boom Echo, on running Cloud Boom Echo at 52. That's only the midsoles. The outsole numbers are not taken into account here and I didn't do the average and, and median values for the outsoles. They're all very similar in that 50, high 50s, low 60s ballpark. So the average is somewhere there. But for the geometry scores, average is 33.1. Um, and remember, if you're new here on the channel, first of all, welcome. Um, and if you're not new, you can still like the video and uh, leave a comment. Liking the video really helps, so thanks a lot for doing that. But if you're new, the geometer scale goes from 0 to 100, 0 being super, super soft and 100 being very firm. So uh, there you have it. The most represented type of, um, of foam, and if you missed that video, you can check the dedicated video on foams. I'm going to put a link here, upper right hand corner. Um, the most represented foam was the, was the family of uh, EVA foams, 
that takes into account um, you know, nitro EVA, supercritical EVA, uh, the whole family of EVA foams was the most represented. And then came PIBA, which is quite interesting, but that's also because we're reviewing lots of super shoes here on the channel. So there's a lot of uh, PIBA foams in the mix. Um, last but not least, uh, I reviewed a total of 45 shoes this year on the channel. I believe the number is accurate, but it doesn't take into account the reviews that are still to be published in 2021. And I have two or three of them for you uh, coming up. So 45 shoes and out of these, I received as gifted samples 21 pairs. Thank you very much to all the brands and uh, partners that sent um, shoes. It's also thanks to them that we had um, such a fantastic year and so many shoes reviewed on the channel. 21 of them were sent. Some of them were sent not only by brands, but also by uh, partners like our EU partner, top for running Thank you very much to them. You can always get your pairs with a discount. I'm gonna put the discount code here, um, upper right hand corner, but also in the description of the video. And it does help the channel really a lot when you get your shoes um, on top for running. I get a little kickback every time you purchase something, just so it's clear, it's an affiliate link. That's how it works. And it helps me to um, you know, purchase some, some, some more shoes. So um, 45 shoes reviewed, 21 of them were gifted. And for the 24 uh, shoes that I uh, purchased, I spent a total amount of 3,510 euros, um, which, you know, in comparison to the um, revenues that I got from, from this YouTube channel is quite a lot of money and in, in general terms is um, quite a huge amount of money. But um, I was very happy to spend it so that I could review all these shoes and so that you could have all this information that I was sharing with you. So, you know, I'm not complaining at all that that's the purpose of the channel to review stuff and I'm um, spending as much as I can on, on this uh, channel, on this project. So I'm very happy with it. Now, shoes that I would have liked to review in 2021 and I did not review, I was thinking about the Ultra shoes we didn't have any and Ultra Rivera was one that I was looking at. Um, the Under Armour Flow Velocity uh, was one that we didn't have and I think it would have been nice to have it. Um, the North Face, the you know, Endurys Flight Vective, all that Vective uh, line, we didn't have any of these and it would have been nice. Yeah, I think that's, that's the shoe that I have in mind. Let me know in the comments which shoe I should have reviewed uh, in 2021 so I can also get some inspiration for next year. All these numbers, of course, were only for shoes. It didn't take into account the rest of the gear that I tested, apparel, uh, you know, gels, socks, whatever. Um, but let me know in the comments saying here, what would you like me to review next year? I would love to do more, more tech stuff on the channel, more, uh, you know, watches, more um, that, that type of stuff. I'm also interested in that myself. So um, I think it makes it easier to share and I believe that can also be helpful for some of you, uh, but let me know, you know, uh, as I like to say, this is also a bit your channel. So um, if you have some suggestions, I'm more than happy to hear about them. Thanks a lot for watching today, guys. Enjoy your run, enjoy your ride, go beyond your limits, and most importantly, take care. I'll see you tomorrow for another episode of the Advent Calendar. Bye-bye.